Okay, so hey, what's up, guys? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. MIUI 12 ROG Edition is ported for Redmi Note 8, and this one is based on MIUI 12 20.7.03 beta version, which is based on Android version 10. How is the performance, how it's working, which are the features, and everything else in this video? Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. Okay, so we are here at this version, MIUI 12 ROG Edition by Baxo Becker AU. Sorry for the pronunciation. Actually, this is based on Android version 10, as you can see, with a security patch of 1st of July 2020, the latest security patch. And this is quite stable. I am using from some time. I got some little bit of bugs also. I'll show you all those bugs too. So we are here at the home screen and in the home screen as you can see the wallpaper seems pretty much nice. This is the default theme and this is the default wallpaper. Everything is just smooth talking about these kind of things. Scrolling speed is nice, no issues here and there. And if you talk about the control center, there are no lags even in scrolling down from here or whatever else you're using. No lags here at all in control center. It's perfectly fine. All the toggles are perfectly fine here. Perfectly working. No issues here and there. Here you can see this one is the MIUI 12 20.7.03 weekly version. Talking about other things, let me just show you. You got the super wallpapers pre-installed. If you just install the room and starts the first time, you will get super wallpaper, but you can change those wallpapers. But yes, after that, if you want to apply those wallpapers again, you have to install this wallpapers app from Google Play Store and you already know how to apply these wallpapers. Go to live wallpapers and here are the Mars live wallpapers applied here. You can apply them if you want super wallpapers on your device. Another cool feature if I'm talking about is this ultra volume app. This one is installed in this room as a pre-installed app. There are a lot of skins available for volume panels. So first of all, this one is default, which I just set it up and it's looking pretty much impressive. You have a lot of new things like if we choose one UI two, then our volume slider will look like this, which is quite interesting as you can see. You can customize all these things. Actually, this app is available on the Google Play Store also like this, as you can see. But it is available as a pre-installed app here, so which is quite interesting too. So looking pretty much impressive. Actually, a new thing, a new feature here. Talking about the Geekbench score, the Geekbench score is also quite impressive. If we talk about the Geekbench score, we got 313 is the single core score, which is impressive and multi-core score is 1314 that's quite impressive too as you can see average we got 307 now we got 313 is quite impressive and average 1300 and today 1314 so that's worthy to install this build and as you already know no issues in animations app opening app closing scrolling down no lags at all it's a ported rom but still it's very very cool Talking about the camera, the default camera is available here as a MIUI 12 stock camera with almost everything should work. I have not tested it yet. Ultra wide is perfectly fine here. Talking about the portrait mode, that should also work. It is working here too. And if we talk about the macro lens, that should also work. Let's check out. It's perfectly working here too, including the AI mode. And talking about the 48 megapixel camera, that should work too. Maybe some lenses could not work, uh, okay, but you can customize them. Also, you have an option of choosing the Gcam if you want to. Gcam is the best ever option for using a custom room. Moving on to settings, let's check out which are the features you get in this custom room. First of all, we get the always on display and lock screen option where you can use the always on display. It's perfectly fine. Always on display is working here. If you notice, let me just show you. As you can see, it's here. Only little bit of things are showing, but yes, it's worthy. It's available here, but it's a bug. Let me just tell you what is the bug. If you enable always on display, 
then your screen will freeze for some time if you just don't use your device for at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes maybe more then after that time if you use your device your screen will be freezed up you cannot use your device you had to force reboot your device if you on always on display i'm not sure about other things but this is a bug which i just got and this is also cool thing always show notifications all other things are same like the wired charging animation here you get in display you have the option of maximum brightness on call and here you get the color scheme option which is quite helpful option and quite helpful feature available in this custom room and this is why you should try out this room because it has some very cool and interesting features available you can adjust the screen colors from here use new MIUI fonts which was expected also that's also perfectly fine and control center and notification share some options to customize in control center and some options in status bar toggles and minimized old shade etc all other things are same here sound and vibration notifications themes etc everything is just fine password and security face fingerprint everything is just perfectly fine no additional things, no extra things are available, but it's just perfectly fine based on MI room with some additional and extra features. So all the things I have already shown you, I think it's worthy to install this build, just don't use the always on display. So this was all from today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye. Have a nice day.